Welcome to an in-depth walking tour of downtown Hermosa Beach. Here in Southern California, I'm a local real estate agent here in the beach cities, and I'll tell you what my favorite places are here in Hermosa Beach, and also throw in a little bit of Hermosa history along the way. FYI, uh, I'll be the one doing the walking, so, you know, you don't have to, I mean, it's a walking tour. You get it. If you visit here, I'll give you tons of things to do, see where to go. From a real live local, I'm going to the top of Formosa Beach, downtown district at PCH and Pier Avenue, Pacific Coast Highway. Pier Avenue was originally named Santa Fe Avenue, and we'll talk about that in a minute. This beautiful Art Deco building on Pier Avenue wasn't always a community center like it is now. It was once Hermosa Beach's first public school. You know what they called it? Pier Avenue School. I wonder how long it took them to come up with that. Originally, Built in 1911, the school served the community for over 60 years, but in 1933, a 6.2 earthquake caused serious damage and tear it down. So the community rallied and this school was rebuilt in the 30s. In 1978, the city decided to repurpose it and turn it into the community center for Hermosa Beach. It also houses the Hermosa Historical Society just right down there. T.C. Prouty was an inventor. He started making electrical supplies and later shifted to ceramic tiles in Hermosa Beach in the early 1920s and built a large factory on Santa Fe Avenue, now Pier Avenue, across the street from me here. It's now Vaughn's Grocery Store. He called it Prouty Line Products. It was a big operation, took up the whole block. Look at this cool green belt. Tree-lined, right in the middle of town. How come it isn't full of condos? Well, in 1888, the Santa Fe Railroad completed the freight and passenger line to what is now Manhattan or Hermosa Beach to Redondo Beach to the south to bring passengers to the popular Hotel Redondo at the time. This was out in the middle of nowhere in the sand dunes. Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach didn't even exist yet, just Redondo Beach, which is also the port of Los Angeles at the time with three long piers to offload lumber and products for the booming Los Angeles Basin housing thing. It's a little over four miles from the northeast corner at Rosecrans from Manhattan Beach all the way to the end of Hermosa, right at the Redondo Line. That's why this is flat. This is gonna be fun. Well, keep saying that, okay? Fun, come with me. So we have been here at Valley Drive behind me and Ardmore in front of me. So I'm walking due west on Pier Avenue. Let's take a look. The city and the beach is popular for surfing, Beach volleyball, paddleboarding, sunbathing, bars. Yes, going to bars is a sport. Cycling, running, skating, walking, talking, holding your breath, holding hands. The population here is 19,000 ish. Our small but mighty city itself is a little over a square mile. This round building used to be a market. It looks like a barn. It was built in 1917. About 15 blocks from east to west and about 40 blocks from north to south across the street. The Source Cafe. They have kind of natural food, smoothies, uh, gluten-free stuff. Just don't ask them for a refill. They don't do that. They act all offended. Sosta in the white building, high-end Italian food, very good, small bites. One of our favorites, the Hook and Plow locals. They have one in Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, and Manhattan Beach. Okay, here's my buddies. This is called the bike shop, the old bike shop. Oh, they're not there. Manny works on my bikes. He's my bike guy. This is creme de la crepe. They have outdoor dining here. And then this is French food, of course. This is the Rockefeller. They also have one in each beach city. You can sit inside, outside, and outside, inside. El Tarasco, Mexican. It's kind of your typical no frills Mexican food. Sand spa, if you want to get your nails done. Coming up to Frito Misto. Italian food, great prices, great food. Everyone loves it. Offset coffee, they're local roasters, so they're only open in the daytime. This is uncorked. This is a wine bar, outdoor seating, it's fantastic. Stop hassling me, man. <laughs> you can't get to Vons, you just go to Abe's. So that uncorked, great place to sit outside. You can actually see the ocean from there. And we're crossing pier for a minute. Across the street is Gumtree, they have Little cafe, 
open for uh, coffee, breakfast, lunch, and a little boutique next to it. Straight ahead is Java Man. This is everyone's favorite coffee place. The coffee isn't that great, but the place is great. So this is where we come. This is where we meet. We have friends here. They close up at three o'clock. They're open at six. We sit outside here, sit out all over this patio. It's fantastic. The boys working there have been here for a long time. Crossing Pier again. Some little shops in here. There's a barber shop and a lot of a lot of small boutiques here. We don't do very many. We don't do very many chains here in the beach cities. Okay, next to Java Man is Wicked General Store. They have a lot of beach stuff, a lot of Hermosa Beach stuff, and then there's No Nos. Jiu Jitsu Club, Beach and Beverly is also a little boutique. Now Mike is currently closed right now, but this guitar shop at the corner of Manhattan Avenue and Pier Avenue is fantastic. He has some beautiful, beautiful hardware in there. I play guitar. I go in there all the time. That's a place you need to check out. It's called At Mike's Guitar Parlor. Okay, these guys curious. They have the funniest things in there. You know, you need that hot dog probably. And they have sweary bingo. We love it. These guys are hilarious. Go in there. Soul baby. Baby clothes. Local. Steak and whiskey. I was there last night. They have happy hour seven days a week where they have $2 oysters. So go in there, get a drink, $2 oysters. Here's the uh, Chamber of Commerce. These guys, Taco El Coloso. They do birria. Yeah, birria. So you want to do birria tacos. It's three for 10 bucks. It's best buy for lunch or dinner. This is from Mills Avenue. Here we are at Pier in Hermosa Avenue. It's Pier behind me. We just walked down there. This is the only stoplight in downtown Hermosa Beach. <laughs> it's the hub, baby. In the beginning, in 1904, the Los Angeles Pacific Railway, the test trolley system, was the first electric trolley service in Hermosa Beach, running the entire length of Hermosa Ave behind me, on its way from LA to Redonda Beach. It was later called the Pacific Electric Railway Company. Uh, we also call them the red cars. This is how Manhattan and Hermosa Beach were founded by the red cars. People coming from LA, the electric red cars on the coast, they saw a real estate office. They were like first pop-ups <laughs> and they were selling sand lots for a hundred dollars. And so they started to build beach cottages to come to when it was super hot in LA. Those tracks, they ran right here down the middle of Hermosa Avenue. Did you ever wonder why the Hermosa Ave was wider than any other street? and has parking up and down the center, not here, but next block down. This is where the tracks ran all the way up and down Hermosa Avenue. So the red car and the ocean and the weather was how Hermosa Beach eventually became a city in 1907 by one vote, 23 no's and 24 yeses. <laughs> okay, let's go south on Hermosa Avenue. You just came from there. I was just right there. And we are going to go south, Zane's local place great place to have dinner get a cocktail great martinis fantastic they've got a little bit of outdoor dining here next up creamy boys these guys are from New Zealand they make ice cream with fresh fruit in it it's amazing stoked chocolates she's a local she makes beautiful filled creamy filled chocolates and it's paisanos this is where everyone goes to get a slice. If you got Michelle's Women's Boutique, she's our part of our friends, go there. She's got cool stuff. Uh, some places I don't hang out at. The Nail Bay. This is another little local coffee shop, the Lucky Seven. Feeling lucky. 
gym to get your gym on. Not sure what's going on here. Hair salons everywhere. This is called Red and Louis, local guy. He's got a pizza oven in there. Uh, his pizzas are fantastic. Bikinis. Good gelato. And now we come to the famous still on Hermosa Ave. I'm at 10th Street right now. Upstairs in that building is Radici. Great Italian food. Mama is in the kitchen. And then there's Salvadorian food in Canto right below there. I haven't been there. And then further down where the Reds thing is, that's L&B Coastal. They do lobsters and beer. That's fun. What I wanted to tell you about, is we just walked by it, is the Comedy and Magic Club. It's been here since like 1978. And we've seen some really fantastic comedians here at this place. Come here for dinner. It's a great night out. They have a parking lot on top even. I think it pays five bucks to do that. I'm on 10th Street now, going south. There's Hermosa Ave where we just walked. This house was built in, which is a massive house for the time. It was built in 1920. And these guys were 1918 and 1912. So there's like four of them in a row. We're coming up to the Strand. Weather here is perfect. We have two seasons, doors open and doors closed. Doors closed pretty short season. It's October and we still have our doors and windows open. Here we are at the sand. Looking south, this is the Strand. Capital T, capital S, the Strand. These guys live in the front row. That tall building down there, that's Redondo Beach's border. And there's the marina, and that's Palos Verdes Peninsula behind it. And I can't see Catalina. It'd be sitting right off the tip. I don't see it. Been a little foggy. There's the Hermosa Beach Pier. And you got a camera. Everyone's looking at you. This is the Sea Sprite Hotel right on the front row. We just redid this a few years ago, and it's used to be very inexpensive. Now it's not, but it's very nice. So I'm walking north on the Strand. 10th Street is behind me. 11th Street is coming up. And Pier Avenue is generally 12th down here. It has a curve in it. It's still part of this Sea Sprite. I did not point out that in the middle of that block over by Michelle's parking lot. This is my favorite place to eat pancakes. Scotty's on the Strand. We used to have tables out here, but the city hassled them for some stupid reason. But you can sit there. They do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But these are like sliding doors. You can open them. That's what I do. Scotty's on the Strand. They have an all-you-can-eat spaghetti night on Monday. Coming up on the back side of Hennessy's. Hennessy's has a bar in all three beach cities, but hardly anybody goes up there. So if you come into Hennessy's, go upstairs because the view is ridiculous. So we're coming up the head of the pier right there in front of us. And this is Pier Plaza. We're gonna see that at the end. You can also sit here on the front. There's a little glimpse. We're going to continue down here for two more blocks. Just up here. The Strand, right here, in its early days, it was called the Boardwalk because in 1901, they laid down 16-foot boards from border to border because it's hard to get from here to there when you're walking in the sand. Well, big winter storms and the high tides, yeah, we'll get them and wash them away. And it was quite an accomplishment to lay all those things down for almost two miles. Hermosa was very proud of this, but it drew sneers from the nearby Redondo Beach residents who called it, It's a walk to the middle of nowhere. This was still the middle of nowhere in 1901. <laughs> And the sand dunes, well, there was plenty of blowing sand. Now it's a concrete pathway that runs along Hermosa beaches from Redondo Beach to the south. It starts down at the end of Redondo, 
goes through Hermosa, through Manhattan, El Segundo, LAX, 20 miles all the way up to Santa Monica. It's a fun day trip, you know, if you want to go to Venice or Santa Monica, you just ride your bike up there, you have lunch, you come back. The path is mostly here on the coast. Houses on the Strand are some of the most expensive in Hermosa. To live on the front row, the current minimum price on the Strand is a 1912 two-story duplex on a 2,400 square foot lot for 6.99 million, which is basically land value. Yeah. Lot value. The highest price in Hermosa on the Strand is a 5,100 square foot house on a double lot with a pool for 20,700,000. So the front row is pretty affordable, right? Here we go down the Strand. Pier Plaza is there. This is Vista. We'll come back and hit Pier Plaza and then we'll go onto the pier at the end. This you can sit outside and look at the Vista. You can sit inside and look outside at the Vista. Uh, great local food, great cocktail program. Fantastic. We like it. Volleyball is big here in the beach cities. It's big. There's always somebody playing, practicing. Like, if you've got a game, you want to play with these guys, if they got a camera out, they are pro. And they were going to beat you. They're going to beat you bad. This is another fun breakfast and lunch place. Good stuff on the Strand. They have one in every beach city except Manhattan Beach. So you can sit here. They also put tables here and have breakfast and lunch. This blue building right in front of me is Hermosa Cyclery. They uh, sell bikes, electric bikes, and they work on bikes and they rent bikes. So if you're in town, go there also did you know behind me three-story parking structure yes this isn't such a bad view is it if you have pancakes watch people kick ass yeah those women are pro say that sir okay this is 13th street this is the beach house hotel it's kind of a condo hotel. When I say condo, it is a condo hotel. So you can own units in here also. My friends who come from Phoenix live here. And it's a great location right next to downtown. These are to keep bikes from coming in through here and riding their bikes, you're supposed to walk for the two blocks, but nobody does. In the mid-1920s, one of Hermosa Beach's most ambitious projects ever was the construction of the building that would later become the Hermosa Biltmore Hotel. Located on the Strand between 14th and 15th Streets, the hotel initially served as headquarters for the exclusive Surf and Sand Club, a private social club backed by several wealthy investors. The building quickly became a showpiece and a social hub for Hermosa Beach. Turns out the private club model proved financially unsustainable and the founder sold the property to the Los Angeles Athletic Club. And a few years later, the Athletic Club, with stronger financial backing, operated the hotel as a private club also, but ultimately sold it in 1930. During World War II, the federal government temporarily repurposed the building as a youth training center that then became the Biltmore Hotel. In the late 1960s, the iconic, ironic structure was demolished to make way for development, but today it's a public park. As you can see, one of the most expensive pieces of real estate Okay, we're going to leave the Strand now. We're going to head back to uh, Hermosa Beach and then down to Pier Plaza and then the pier. One of my favorite places to hang out and eat Mexican food is right here at La Playita. You can sit outside. They've got an outside thing. You can sit inside. If you uh, want to rent surfboards, beach stuff, beach gear, Jeffers. I'm on 14th Street walking towards... Hermosa Avenue. There's a couple of cute little old beach houses here that are Airbnbs. Built 1920.
Okay, I'm at Hermosa Brewing. So my good friends work here and own it. This is Hermosa Brewing Company downstairs. They have great beer and you can sit outside. And then upstairs is Fox and Pharaoh. Great, great food. Chef Darren is, is very talented. So there's Hermosa Brewing Company there and go up the stairs to Fox and Pharaoh. And you can sit here. This is Padone's Pizza right here. He's trying to sell that. This is Decadence, another local owned place. Okay, remember when I was at Tacos El Goloso in that little tiny taco shop? Well, they just opened this last week, this cantina. And you can eat outside, you can eat inside. Their food is amazing. Drinks, everything, it's upper scale. So this is some, um, we don't know how to pronounce it. Japonica, Japonica, Japanica, I don't know. Uh, great sushi and great prices. Paris bowls for acai and things. If you do yoga in Hermosa Beach, you do it here at Soho. That's what you do. That used to be the Bijou Theater. And now it's a bank and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, there's the one chain we have, Starbucks. There's that parking garage that I was back around on. This restaurant has been on and off and on and off. We don't know what it's going to be. Um, by the way, there's nine murals in Hermosa Beach. Big ones. Can you find them? This is Ryla, Asian Fusion. You sit outside, you got to get reservations for this because everyone wants to sit here. Asian Fusion, amazing, amazing cocktail program, amazing food program, just terrific. Not inexpensive, but terrific. So coming up to Pier Avenue, recognize it yet? There's Zane's straight across the street. There's that Tacos El Goloso, the small place. Look at that, we made the light. And here we are, Pier Plaza. In 1978, Hermosa Beach closed Pier Plaza. So there used to be just parking here and they were allowed to have dining decks now. And it's just a walkway. You're not supposed to ride your bike on it, but people do. There's, we just went by the clock tower. All right, lots of things here. <laughs> the Bruce Hall sign is gone. I'm wondering if they are. Uh, spider, surf, the local guys. You can get uh, surfboards, everything surf, everything outdoor. American Junkie, they do have $5 burgers and tacos and stuff on their happy hour. I am too old to go in there, so I don't go in there. Baja Sharkies, same thing. Outdoor, Patrick Malloy's. That's different than Hennessy's. It's down there we saw already. This is my favorite place here to get coffee, Cafe Bonaparte. Very French, the guy is very French. So this is the Cafe Bonaparte. And really good coffee. You can sit outside, they have great pastries. Upstairs, the entrance down under there is Tower 12. It's a great bar. You sit up there on that bridge and look out. They have fire. Okay, Irish bar, Molloy's, treasure chest. If you got the grandkids, go get some stuff. So Bonaparte Bistro it used to be the green spot. But same chef, but Bonaparte owns it now. And so they gave it a they gave it a thing, which is great. Juice, little juice bar. And here is the lighthouse, which was in La La Land. I'm sure you recognize it. This has been here since the 40s, and this is the jazz joint. This is Palmilla right here, high-end Mexican. Great, smoky margaritas, pricey, but good. So you can eat, drink, they have great shows, they have jazz on Sundays, and then you got Waterman Safe House, which is a restaurant bar, some shops, 
If you want seafood, you're going to go to Playa Hermosa. That's where you're going to go. So this used to be Silvio's, but it just opened up as Pinellas. Um, I mean, it just opened up. I've been there. There's Hennessy's. We were there earlier, remember? And there's Vista, and then there's the pier. The cost of living in a coastal city in Southern California is very expensive. Year-to-date medium home value in Hermosa Beach is currently 2.23 million, which is approximately 199% higher than the median price in California, which is 745,000 compared to the median price in the United States, which is 416,000. The Hermosa Beach median price is 436% higher. Did I mention it was expensive here? The current lowest price in Hermosa Beach is $579,000. It gets you one bedroom, one bath, or condo a mile from the beach. The current lowest price for a single family house is $1.399 million. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath, 1,000 square foot on a 2,500 square foot lot. It's basically lot value. Someone will tear that down and build a larger two story house in that neighborhood. That house is also a mile from the beach and two blocks from that condo. By the way, the beach in Hermosa Beach is the only beach in the South Bay that's not owned by LA County. Hermosa Beach owns the entire two miles of the beach here as well as the pier. In the summertime, we don't get big waves. Nope, we do not. Our big waves are in the wintertime when we get winter swells. So, there won't be much going on. I can't even see them right now. This is the lifeguard station. If you want to know what the ocean temperature is, it's 65 degrees. It tells you when high tide, low tide. That's what you need to know. Yes, the lapping waves, just barely. So you can see the jetty that's part of the marina in Redonda Beach. Down there, that's the end of Hermosa Beach. But Hermosa and Manhattan, Manhattan Beach is a little bit wider than Hermosa. If you look down there, you can see Manhattan Beach Pier and the Roundhouse Aquarium down there. But it's 450 feet wide down there, and it's about 400 feet wide here. It is a massive, massive. Remember when I told you about Prouty? If you look down there, you can see his house. It's the one with the arches and it's round, red tile roof, kind of yellow. It's always nice in the pier because somebody's smoking a J. It's great. Manhattan Beach is a mile and a half down there. And this is what Hermosa looks like from this side. I live at the top of that hill. That's looking south to Redondo and the Palos Verdes Peninsula. The strand turns into a bike path in Redondo Beach past the pier and goes all the way down to that peninsula. And then it stops and it goes 20, a little over 20 miles north of Santa Monica, which is shrouded in the haze. You cannot see it today. And then there's a big square out there at the end of the pier, people fishing. Let's play a game. Okay, you say? Great. How many piers has Hermosa Beach had? Two, three, or four? If you said four, you're wrong. The first Hermosa Beach Pier was built in 1904, two years before the city officially became incorporated. Constructed out of wood, 500 feet out, it broke up and much of it flowed out to sea during a violent storm in 1913. In 1914, they started a new one and it made a thousand feet and it was concrete. And it was weakened by big waves from winter storms. The pier required frequent repairs to its pilings. Two powerful storms in 1940 and 45 knocked the seaward portion of the pier out of commission and for good. It was condemned and closed to public. This current concrete pier was dedicated in June of 65. It's 1140 feet long. The ocean is angry at the pier. It wants it gone. 
Thus, there's always constant maintenance required you know, to keep it there. Salt air, the ocean, moving. There are several plaques added on the deck for local surfers inducted into the Surfers Hall of Fame. Remember the movie La La Land? Well, the dance scene was right there on the pier. Look at that photo. They added the old style lights to keep it historically correct. You gotta love Hollywood. Hey, if you're having fun with this, it'd be great if you just give a little like and a subscribe to my channel for more videos kind of like this. And if you know somebody who might be interested in this, just forward it to them. Share it. It'd be great. Thanks for that. Well, there it is. We just walked all the way down Pier Avenue, all around the block. You've seen Hermosa Beach. That's it. There's a few other places that way in that way, but not very many. So anyway, that's the city that we love, Hermosa Beach. If you have any questions, just leave one in the comments below or reply back. Thanks for watching.